Hey guys, it's Natalie with Curated by Natalie and today I have a bit of a different video. I am going to do a see what sold of this last week which started on December 27th and ended on January 2nd, Sunday morning and I am packing up all of my sales. So I was away this past week visiting family and attending a wedding so I wasn't shipping every day. So since I have quite a few sales, um, I thought I would go ahead and film a YouTube video so we could see some live action what sold the last week of 2021 and first couple days of 2022. So let's get started. off with one of my first sales of the week and one of my favorite sales of this whole week too. So this is a vintage Rossi ski suit slash jumpsuit. I don't know what you would call it, but it's the coolest piece ever. It's flat in front, has a true waist belt, not just some, you know, snap front. It's got a true silver belt. It's just the coolest piece ever. So I had this piece listed in my closet for 175, which is very competitive considering the style, the era, the brand, etc. cetera. Um, and somebody swooped in and offered me $130. I happily accepted that because that was a very reasonable offer considering you know the listing price and everything. That put me at 104 minus the Poshmark fees, and I paid about $4 for that piece. So that put me at a profit of $100, which I am very excited about. That's such a unique vintage gem, and it's definitely worth every penny. So next, we have an Instagram sale. I was not super active selling on Instagram this last week. Typically, to make Instagram sales, I have to post new pieces, um, either in a collection or a story sale. But I did, you know, make a story saying hey like check out my Poshmark closet or check out old listings and kind of send me an offer or just buy stuff I'd love to clear up. So this is a loyal fan that bought this. She watches my YouTube videos and you know always is checking out my Poshmark closet and such. She snagged this vintage Harlow dresses ribbed blazer. It's just the coolest piece and it totally gives me Fran the nanny vibes. It sold for $32. Now that was the sale rate. So she paid $32, but minus PayPal fees and minus shipping, which was around $9 on that piece, I profited $20, um, which is pretty good. I am very happy with that sale. Next up, we have a piece that I found when I sourced with Lauren at LATX Posher. She's one of my PFFs, Posh Friends Forever. This is vintage gold label Victoria's Secret. This is a kimono or nightshirt. I don't know what you would prefer to call it. I kind of listed it at both. I received an offer of $24 on this piece. I did have it listed for a bit more, but considering I wasn't super active on my closet, I was kind of accepting more offers than normal. So that put my earnings minus the Poshmark fees at $19.20. Saying I got this at the bins, I paid probably a dollar for this because it doesn't quite weigh a pound. So that puts my earnings right at $18, which I'm very excited with. Next up, we have another offer generated from buyer. This is an Anthropology 1 September patchwork quarter sleeve dress. This is such a unique piece and I'd had it listed on all platforms, um, including my Instagram, and it just hadn't gotten a lot of attention, um, not a lot of likes, not a lot of offers or anything. So when I finally got an offer of $23 um, early this morning, I did accept it. That was an $18 net earnings minus the Poshmark fees. I did pick this piece up from a regular Goodwill, so I paid around $8 for it. So I only profited around $10 for this piece, but considering it wasn't getting that much action, I did go ahead and accept it. Um, so it's not a crazy sale, this one for sure, but because it was an older anthropology tag, um, I kind of thought that was the best I was going to get, so I went ahead and accepted instead of countering. Up next, one of my favorite pieces to resell. This is a grandpa sweater. It's absolutely perfect. It's just an amazing piece. It's 100% cotton. It's 
such a classy print. It's vintage, it's beautiful, it's fabulous. So this was a Depop sale. I ran a sale on my Depop um, at the beginning of the week when they were offering, if you ran a sale, you don't have to pay Depop fees. Now, since I was on vacation, I forgot to ever turn the sale off, which I'm not mad about it because I still got a few sales from it throughout the week. So minus Depop fees and minus PayPal fees, I got $28.62 deposited into my PayPal. Now that includes shipping. So shipping cost me exactly $9.52 on this piece. And this sweater itself cost me around $2.18 because I got it from the Family Thrift Center outlet. So I profited exactly $16 and 30 cents on this bad boy right here but i'm very happy with that um and i'm happy to get a few more depop sales because i'm really hoping to grow on that platform so i really want to look reputable and have quite a few sales have a lot of five star reviews so i'm excited to get that beauty out the door oh these bad boys right here okay this sale happened i want to say new year's eve um these are some pink victoria's secret seamless workout leggings they're a size large and i mean they're in like new perfect condition i had had these listed in my poshmark closet for almost a year no attention other than likes nobody ever bought on my offers to likers my clear out closet clear outs i relisted re delisted everything in between anyway these babies like never budged so i finally got an offer of 15 dollars. i was like accept 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 so I'm super happy uh, because <laughs> minus the Poshmark fees, I got $12 and I did spend too much on these. I got these at a regular Goodwill and I paid $6 for them. So my profit was a whole $6 on these bad boys. You win some, you lose some, you know? And I am just happy for those to go out the door and help someone with their New Year's resolution. Next up, we have one of my favorite pieces. This is an Urban Outfitters Aztec print fleece pullover, has little drawstrings, a hood, front pockets, just a really snazzy fun piece. So I had this listed at $30, I believe. I received an offer for $24 on Poshmark and minus the Poshmark fees, I got $19.20. I paid approximately $2.18 for this piece because I got it from the Family Thrift Center outlet. So I profited right around $17 on this bad boy right here. And I'm pretty happy with that because it had been listed on Depop, Instagram, and everywhere. And I really don't try to keep stuff for more than two months. So it was almost approaching that. And I'm happy to have it go to a new home because I'm in the process of selling um, inventory, not storing inventory. Oh, we have a great sale right here. Okay, this is really exciting. This is a beautiful piece. I'm keeping it in plastic in the box. I want it to remain in the pristine condition that it is. This is a Johnny Wise reversible kimono. So we all know what the Johnny Wise tag looks like, right? It has gorgeous embroidery down the front. It's 100% silk and it's got a beautiful interior too. You could actually wear it on the other side, um, but the tag shows if you do that, but it's definitely an option. Anyway, so this piece was listed in my closet for at or a little bit above $200. I received an offer for 100, which is way too low for this piece considering there's no others listed for sale at less than 200. Most are listed at like 275. So I countered with my lowest, which was 150. I kept getting lower offers, we back and forth, but I stayed firm with 150 and she finally accepted it. So minus the posh fees, that put me at 120. I did pay up a pretty penny for this piece. I paid $40 at a buy sell trade store, but I knew I could make a good profit in return. And I did, I profited $80, which I am very excited about. I'm so excited that I stuck, you know, to my lowest and you know it worked out so definitely is worth countering if you know it's worth more just like in that piece 
All right, now we're getting into some bundles. So I had quite a few bundles this week. All were buyer generated. I don't go through and figure out who's liked multiple pieces and make a bundle for them. That's for them to do. So this is their own work right here. So this bundle is three, a three piece bundle. I have this vintage Justin's, which is a, a Western brand belt. It's really cool. It's silver. And then we have an American Eagle button front crew neck. Mick Thrifty actually owns this crew neck. Isn't that funny? She's worn it in um, a haul video before. It's kind of funny, like, since, like, we both live in Houston, we'll kind of talk on Instagram sometimes, and she'll, like, point out pieces that I'm selling that she actually owns, which is kind of fun. Anyway, then we have this quilt lined fleece jacket. It's a size small. I have advertised a few times I don't like picking up smalls in these because they take longer to sell than their larger quilted flannel friends. So this three piece bundle got an automatic 20% off offer. I sent her a previous offer on one of the other ones that she made, um, but she canceled it because she wanted to add the belt in there too. So I gave her a pretty good deal on all three pieces for $35 minus the $7.36 that went into all three pieces. I profited $27 on this bundle right here, which I'm pretty excited with because, you know, I'm getting three pieces out the door and somebody's getting three cool new pieces to their wardrobe. Now we are into another Depop sale. I am super excited with any Depop sale that I get. So this is a two piece bundle, which got not only the discount that I was running in my Depop closet at the time, but it also got my bundle discount, which is free shipping. So many people have taken advantage of my free shipping bundle discount with Depop. And I understand why, because they're basically getting that second piece for like 75% off because shipping costs me $10 and I put down my straight up shipping costs um, when people are buying pieces. So, you know, if you buy an item that's 20 and you buy another piece, then you're basically only paying $10 for that item. Anyway, it's a good, it's a good sale. So we have this free people float on a sunbeam maxi dress it's so cool it's got this bubble sleeve long sleeve button front tie waist oh, it's just the coolest dress really pretty print it had been sitting in my closet since july but i had it listed at a high price um but with that discount it was pretty good then we have these grandma-esque pumps very cool so this sold for right at $75, both pieces included, minus the Depop and PayPal fees, because you get charged with both. I got $65 deposited in my account. Now I still had to pay for shipping, which was $10. So then I was down to 55. I spent $2.18 on these shoes. So now I'm at like 53. And this dress right here was kind of hard to figure out how much I'd spent exactly on it because this was from a buy sell trade store pickup so I take pieces from the bins into a buy sell trade store trade them for store credit and recoup my bins costs and then make profit I'd already recouped my bins costs so it's almost like it's free but also at the same time not really I do know that that buy sell trade store priced that dress at $30. So I did spend a good amount of my credit on it, but still all in all, I would say I profited around $40 on it just from, you know, the bins trades to everything. I feel like it's around a $40 profit on that bundle right there. Next up, the last sale of the week is this wonderful bundle from one of my most loyal customers and YouTube fans and just a great gal. She buys from me almost every week or every other week. So I did give her a really good deal on this bundle right here um, because she literally watches all my YouTube videos and has bought from me consistently almost every week, the week of December. So I did accept her offer when she sent it. It was an offer of 120 
Now, these are the six pieces that she got for $120. Obermeyer Stirrup Ski Pants. Really great piece. They were in my last bins haul. Then we have a Mary Kate and Ashley Y2K Bell Sleeve Top. A Gymshark Crop Top Long Sleeve Top. Very cool piece. A Torrid lace bomber jacket, a coach Y2K little purse, and a buff bunny cut out cropped sweatshirt. And if you don't know what the buff bunny tag looks like, it looks like this little B right here. So all in all, she offered 120. I did accept that because She's a loyal fan and a loyal customer. If I would have waited and sold these pieces individually, I definitely could have made more, but you know, sometimes you want to keep some customers happy. So I earned $96 from that offer of 120 because Poshmark charges a 20% fee. All in all, I'd spent around 16 ish dollars on these pieces. Most pieces were from the bins minus this Gymshark crop top. So on average, all pieces included $16. I profited around $80 on this bundle right here, which I'm still very happy with and, you know, excited to give a loyal fan and a loyal customer a great deal. So now I'm going to go ahead and tape up all these boxes, throw all the sweaters into a poly mailer and get these babies shipped out the door to their new homes. And I am so excited for a great week of reselling. But before we go, I do wanna go over a few numbers with y'all. My net earnings of the week were right at $666. Now that does not include shipping fees or cost of goods minus those. I profited right around $410 on all of these sales from this week. That's a pretty good week for me. Um, and saying I wasn't adding new listings and was just using Pasha VA to share my closet, I'm pretty excited. So if you don't have Pasha VA, you definitely should get it. You can use my link. It's in my description below. Um, and you know, I kind of worked really hard on the back end before taking this trip. I was listing 15 to 20 items a day because I knew I wouldn't be listing the week that I was gone. And I really feel like it paid off, you know? Maybe I could have made a few more sales if I was more active, but I was still able to enjoy myself and still, you know, recoup the costs of a one way, <laughs> one way of one of my tickets to go back home to visit my family. So that's good <laughs> right there. That's what reselling is all about. So I'm excited. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you liked what you saw. If you did, be sure to subscribe to my channel and check out my Instagram created by Natalie. I hope you have a great week this week and I'll see you guys later. Bye.